I'm a little overwhelmed right now. <laughs> there's, um, there's something special that goes on in this company. And it is bigger than money and cars and houses and trophies. And um, you are looking at the most amazing people that have blessed millions of lives around the world. And there's never a point, I mean, there's no words that we can ever express or say to show our gratitude for the individuals that are on this stage right now. They are, uh, they are miracles in themselves. And um, since I'm already crying, I'm just gonna share a story with you guys, because um, I've shared this one other time, and this will be the last time I share it, because it's, uh, it's a little too dear to my heart, but to give you an idea of the kind of individuals that are standing on this stage, I mean, it is amazing. I mean, we have a $10 million check sitting by our chair right now. And, uh, but I will tell you what I'm most grateful for is people in our lives that um, have been sent to us through our Heavenly Father. And um, that, uh, Go out of their way for people. I mean, everything from Kayani carrying hands to the products to the comp plan to touching lives all around the world. But when it comes to individuals, they know how to put their hands out and, and to take care of people around them. I um, had a chance a few months ago. We were in Idaho Falls and I had a, a group, in fact, some of them are here today, um, who had flown up from all around the country and. There were about 10 of us sitting in Mr. Kirk Hansen's office and I got a text message um, from my husband. And I had a little one at home who had had a little bit of a fever the night before. And um, it's hard as moms to leave your little one when he's not feeling well. But I woke up the next morning and he actually didn't have a fever. And my husband reassured me that um, he'd be with him all day and it was okay to go. And so we went up to Idaho Falls and around uh, the afternoon, we had a chance to, to steal an hour from Mr. Kirk Hansen. And he's always so gracious with his time. Every individual on this stage has been, which is the most precious thing that we have. And I got a text message saying 911, 911, 911, 911. And I ran out of his office, and uh, it was my 15-year-old uh, son, 16 now. And he was in hysterics and said, Mom, there's an ambulance at the house, and Daddy's with Chase Charles, my three-year-old, and he's unconscious, he had a seizure. And, um, and uh, he's not breathing. And I didn't even know how to respond. And I couldn't get a hold of my husband. He was in the ambulance and I didn't know if my little one was alive. I didn't know what was going on. And all I know is I had an arm around me. And first it started out with Janine. Some of you guys have met, she is. She is amazing, and Mr. Michael Pashears, and the next thing I know, Mr. Kirk Hansen has me by the arm, and I'm in his car, and I'm on his plane, and he has me at that hospital in less than an hour. <laughs> and I show up at the hospital, and Neither Kirk and I even knew what to expect, and I uh, got on the plane, and Mr. Hansen said a prayer with me, and got me there safely, and long story short, my little one's okay. He's actually doing really, really well. But if you need someone to believe in, if you need some place to put your dreams, some place to put your hopes, some place to put your vision, you will never go wrong putting them with these people on this stage right now, ever. And I urge everyone in this room to not let this be just a a happy memory this weekend. Let it be the moment that changed your life. Let it be the moment that it hit your heart and you decided that you were no longer in Kayani and that Kayani was in you. Thank you guys.